Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right, it's good to be back on the set. The last time I was in this chair was back in December to record my Christmas and New Year's Eve episodes. I've added some equipment and uh, a few pounds, unfortunately. I'm using a more legit teleprompter instead of having my iPad directly below the iPhone 11 Pro, so you won't see me looking down as much. I attended conferences in Horseshoe Bay, Denton, and Houston. I also got second place in the Taste of Italy Best Sommelier competition at that conference in Houston. Now, since February, I've been working on a documentary about Texas wine in general and the Texas Wine and Grape Growers Association, aka TOYGA, that has taken up the vast majority of my free time. It started out as me asking for a press pass and it turned into a paying gig. Essentially, the last time everyone met in February of 2020, they had a past president's dinner. Now, at that dinner, many of these presidents stood up and told a story or two. The organizers realized that this was a missed opportunity. So I come along two years later and after a lot of in-person, Zoom and email communication, I came up with doing a documentary. Initially, I'd planned on filming the dinner and just call it a day. But as we talked more about this, it became clear that we needed, we needed to do a more proper interview style thing. Hence, uh, well, a documentary. I'm not even on camera. You do hear me a couple times ask questions, but for almost all the movie, it's just the 14 past presidents I was able to get in front of a camera telling their stories and also Twiga or their involvement in Twiga. In total, I got over four hours of footage in addition to a lot of hours of what is called B-roll. Now, I only use a small portion of that. I used more of it. I used more of that for a marketing video I created for them. Now, you may be asking, when do we get to see this movie? Well, not for a while, probably. I've given Twiga the final copy of both the documentary and the marketing video. It's up to them to decide how they want to present the documentary. Once that's decided, then I'll know how I want to proceed on my end. I also sent it to the 14 past presidents and a select few other people, and I've gotten some really good feedback about it. I think it's good enough to enter into a film festival. Now, obviously I'm extremely biased, but I do think it is worthy. Maybe not something like the Sundance or Cannes or Canes, however it's pronounced, but a smaller one. Maybe one focused on Texas or Texas wine. I can say that I learned a lot during this process concerning editing and the software I use. I had to learn new skills and become, a more, and be, and become more familiar with functions that I've never had to use. I also made some mistakes along the way I created more work for myself than I needed to. I also had some hardware issues. One of the worst things was freaking out that the centerpiece of the documentary, the first panel of three pres presidents that I interviewed, was lost. I discovered the file was corrupted after a long and arduous process. Luckily, I had the original import of that file backed up. It's been a mess, actually, with computer issues. Now, as a result of all this, I'm severely behind on other projects. WWTV, for one, was supposed to resume no later than April. Yeah, right. I was also supposed to make significant progress on Psalm School Advanced. I did do a little bit in some of my free time, but the reality is that I need to set a I need to set aside dedicated time for both of those. If I had time to work on WWTV or SSA, well, then I had time to work on the documentary. All right, so now that everything is, quote, in the can, as they say, I can get back to doing this. All right, so what's in store for the near future? Well, I completed a lot of reviews that you're going to see for the rest of the year. Now, of course, I still have my holiday specials. I still have more samples to review, and I'll hopefully have some additional content to make soon. I've also got some other ideas, well, fermenting in my brain. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. Now, what does that mean for my Freestyle Friday videos? Well, I'm slowly working on my next series of videos. They will be focused on things like additives, headaches, 
RS advertising tactics, etc. Not sure when I'll release them as I'm in the early stages of my research. Realistically, I don't expect them to come out for probably four to six months. My focus right now will be preparing for the advanced sommelier exam. The first thing I'm planning is completing my wine map project in Google Earth Pro. Now, this project has taken way longer than I expected, but I've also been learning a lot about the wine world, making maps, how and why appellations are created, and the software I've been using to create these maps. The benefit for all of you is that I'm able to allow my viewers here to get a perspective literally no one else in the wine review world can do, and my stuff will be the most accurate representations of wine appellations on the planet. No one will be able to match it. But there's a catch to this. These are not traditional maps, but can only be appreciated using Google Earth Pro or creating animations of these areas using that software. At some point, I plan to release these files to the public. I don't know, maybe for free, or maybe I'll charge for it. I really haven't decided exactly how I'm going to uh, use this stuff other than just internally for myself. Now, once I've completed the maps, then I'll work on my SSA scripts with the intention of having everything done by the end of the year and then somehow recording what will certainly be somewhere around 30 to 60 videos and then edit all of them during the first two months of next year? Yeah, um, that's probably not gonna happen. I'm probably gonna get the, the maps finished and then I'll do studying, which will be the, the act of writing scripts, whether or not I get the videos actually recorded in that period of time, I don't know because there's other stuff happening potentially next year. All right, so now with all this, especially since I haven't put out content since mid-March, I'm happy with the growth of the channel. Now, as of today, August 31st, 2022, I have 696 subscribers, Ooh, so close to 700. The growth of the channel since the rebrand and especially the last few months has been phenomenal. So a huge thank you to all of you that have subscribed in the past few months. All right, now I think I've droned on long enough. I think you all got the general idea of what I've been doing and have a glimpse of what's probably coming in the next several months. One last thing, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and then tell your friends and I'll see you next time.